Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch WAB28162, or the sister model, the WAB28161. And what I want to do is just to show you around the machine and to show you some of the features and benefits that it offers. So, I've got it plugged in and let's have a look. So just to say that the WAB28161 and the 28162 are essentially the same machine. All the features and benefits, as I mentioned, will be suitable for both machines. The main difference is the channel management that Bosch have come up with. So the 28161 is available through all retailers and the 28162 at the moment is an exclusive machine for Euronix. So if you find one of the machines then you'll find it's pretty much the same one. So the first thing to do is to show you how easy it is to use. On these machines they don't necessarily have a, an on and off switch. All you do is you turn the dial depending on the program you wanted and as you can see there when you select any program then the machine turns on. What you have got on the left hand side here is a small display and what you can do is you can alter the spin speed because on, on this machine it is a 1400 spin speed maximum and as you press it, it goes down to 1200, 1000, 800, 600, 400 and you've also got the no spin option so it's a really nice easy to read display and while we're here the button to the right of that is the time delay and what you'll find is that you press that and it just goes up in one hour increments and that goes up to 24 hours so you can delay it for up to 24 hours and then it just goes back to the normal time so again a nice easy simple display on there and what you'll find as far as the programs that as you rotate it the time will normally change for each wash and some of the washes nowadays can take some time so you've got some of the specialized 40 and the 60 degree programs as you can see they can take a long time to wash about four four and a half hours i'll be honest from our customer base and people i spoke to not many people go for these programs they do prefer quicker washes and one of the beauties of this machine just while I'm here is if you were to select say a 40 degree cotton program which is probably one of the more popular options a standard that takes 2 hours 13 minutes but what you can do is if you press that button there the speed perfect then that reduces it by an hour so you wash in in around an, just over an hour and what that will do is not normally for a full load it's for a slightly smaller load but uh, what you'll find is that the washing performance is still good but if you're in a hurry then you've got the speed perfect option here and if we just work our way round you have got options at the bottom here so you can do a rinse and clearly a spin as well so you can alter the spin speed on that and you can do that at the 1400 so that's rinse and spin or just spin only if you just wanted to spin some clothes so if you have hand washed something or if you've got say a, a wet uh, shirt or something then all you need to do is put it on the spin only program and again you can vary the spin speed up to 1400 you have got other programs as you come around here so the the woolen program here and you've got the the popular mix load which is a, a quicker wash that's something that we tend to use quite a lot at home and then you've got some of the easy care programs as you come around to the top here so you've got the 40 degree and the 30 degree and it is worth noting that on this particular machine it's a six kilogram load so it's not the biggest load on the market most manufacturers now are leaning towards seven eight and even up to sort of 10 11 kilograms that Bosch have carried on with this model because it has been around for some time and I'll be honest for us it's one of our most popular machines because there are some people that if you're either on your own or just in a couple and you don't do a lot of washing then six kilograms can be enough but what you'll find on some of these programs that it is worth noting and just make sure you have a look at the instructions before you do the wash until we get used to it that some of these programs are not for a full load so you will find some of them are for only a, let's say a three or four kilogram because 
what will happen is if you put a full load in some of the shorter programs then A it will take a lot longer and also the B the washing performance won't be quite as good as it should be and really the last button to show you on here is the pre-wash so if you for example if you're on the say the 40 degree cotton and if the clothes that you're washing are very dirty say if you've got football or rugby kits then press the pre-wash button and as you can see that increases it to two and three quarter hours and you will find with with these machines that they will actually adjust the time according to the wash load so that's a standard start time but what you'll find is that over the process of the wash it does detect how much water is needed for the wash but what you'll find is that even if you've got things like too much detergent in there towards the end of the wash it will actually add extra rinses on to get rid of all the suds so they, they're intelligent machines and you can find if you if you're watching that time and if you want to sit and watch it then sometimes the time alters and that's the reason why because it's monitoring the wash and then when you've selected the program that you want you simply press the start button and that will start the program for you clearly what you have also got the option is you have got an option to pause it so if you had just put everything in and then you found that you got to sock on the floor but the machine hadn't filled with water yet you can just pause it wait for the lock to open and then pop the sock in and then press start again and on the left hand side here we've got the soap drawer it's a nice easy grip handle to pull the drawer out and as with most machines you've got the pre-wash main wash conditioner in here and what you'll find is every now and then you'll want to take the drawer out for cleaning purposes and all you do is you press that button in the middle and then the whole drawer can come out what you will find is that at the front here you can actually unclip all of this I won't do that at the moment but you can just unclip it take the front part of the drawer off and then the main part here can actually go into the dishwasher or give it a really good soak because uh, what you will find over time they can get a little bit gungy in there so once that's nice and clean you put it back together and all you need to do is relocate it and then it goes back in next thing is to show you the door and on this you've got a nice easy grip handle so it's nice and easy to, to get hold of and we do find even if you are struggling with your hands so if you've got arthritis or something like that it's, it's still really easy to, to get your hands round and to open because it's quite a light door as well now you will find with this it doesn't quite open 180 degrees but it is almost there it does get the door well out of the way when you're loading the clothes been a six kilogram load it doesn't have a huge porthole but you will find for majority of people that that's more than big enough and what it is nice to see is that Bosch have still given us metal hinges even though this is a, an entry level machine but it's little features like this and with all Bosch appliances they do come with a minimum well with this machine it does come with a two year guarantee that's covered by Bosch and it's just nice that they've given us parts like that which considering the price of these machines it's good to see good quality components on this and what you'll find here is at the bottom you've actually got access to the pump and all you need to do is you can either get a screwdriver or if you have got short fingernails you can just put it behind it and then pull the cover off and I won't unscrew this but this is really like a coin trap so if you do get any coins or things that drop out you your trousers during the wash then this is where everything will end up and what you'll also find is ev probably every two or three months just give this a um, a clean so just unscrew that clear don't do it while it's washing because you will get water everywhere but uh, just make sure that's kept clean and what you can find on the odd occasion is that it does bring a, a message up on the screen where you've got a blockage and that's normally where you've got things like um, other bits or things like color catchers that catch within the the filter in here and that's an easy process you wouldn't normally need to call an engineer out but all you need to do is unscrew that take any bits out and then screw it back in make sure it is completely tight before you put it back in because again if not if you don't then you can get water out during the machine wash and to put that cover back on it's a 
quite a simple process. You just clip it back on like that and then you're ready to go. Now I know for the majority of people, seeing the back of the machine isn't that relevant, but for some people the installation is quite important as to where things go. So I just thought I'd quickly show you around the back of the machine. So first of all, on the left hand side here, you've got the waste hose. And at the moment that curls all the way around the back here. And on the right hand side here, you've got the water feed and you do get a new hose with it. And then top left, you've got the mains connection as well. And the only thing we do say is if you are installing it yourself, then make sure you take the four transit bolts out. This is imperative because if you don't take them out, then you can damage the machine. And we have had customers that have done that. And unfortunately, if you don't take them out, then and if you damage the machine, that's not covered under the warranty. So if you are thinking of buying one of these machines, I've provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch WAB 28161 or 28162. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments below. I am trying to ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, or if you've got any other suggestions for other videos you want me to make on other products, or washing machines or vacuum cleaners, things like that. Thanks for watching.